The Bliss Swinger Cruises can be an exhilarating and liberating experience for new couples seeking to explore their boundaries and strengthen their connection. These unique voyages provide a safe and consensual environment for individuals to engage in wild adult activities, fostering open communication and trust. Hi, I'm Matt. Hey there, I'm Bianca. And in this video, we're telling you why swinger cruises are perfect for people who are brand new to the lifestyle. That's right, keep watching. We're the Traveling Swingers. All right, well, let me just start out by saying that when we say brand new, we mean people that I either have never done anything in the lifestyle or have been doing things for, let's say, less than a year or so. Yeah. They've had a couple of experiences with others or they yeah. haven't yet, and they're just kind of dipping their toes in. Mm -hmm. Lifestyle cruising, if you're not familiar with it, is basically where we take thousands of swingers and put them on a cruise ship together and this is our oh boy ninth ninth or tenth ninth or tenth lifestyle cruise that we've done and what we've definitely noticed since COVID ended is that there are a lot of new people entering the lifestyle, yeah. including a lot of younger couples, mm -hmm. which we didn't see 10 years ago, mm -hmm. uh, which is really, really amazing to see. Oh, yeah. And so when we got on this boat, we started to ask people, you know, how long have you been doing this? How long have you been in a lifestyle? And so many people were just, just like brand new. Yeah. Uh, or they had a, a few experiences and they're just like, you know, we saw this was happening and we were, we were just, we need to go on this ship. Mm -hmm. And and then we just started talking. We said, wow, this is a, it's, it's a really good idea for new couples to, to go on these boats. Yeah. And so we're just going to kind of go into what some of those reasons are. You want to start? Absolutely. So one of the great things about being on a large ship like this with many thousands of people is that you can be comfortable at any level of play. Mm -hmm. So whether you're brand new or you've been doing this for 20, 30 years, you can be comfortable. So being brand new is great because when you are in, for example, if you're in a playroom, and which they have here and they're big with dozens and dozens of I mean, beds and they have you know numerous playrooms on yeah. this ship and and all the ships are different that you could be in a situation where let's say you just wanted to play with your spouse mm -hmm. in a environment that was very sexually charged there's people surrounding you beds everywhere sometimes they're covered up by a sheet sometimes they're just wide open whatever your level of comfort is you can do that and be surrounded by the sexual energy that happens in the room right we've actually met several couples who say that they come on these cruises because they're voyeurs and exhibitionists so they like to go to those playrooms just play with each other but choose a bed where everybody can watch and if you're feeling comfortable enough that you can actually go and talk to another couple and say, hey, can we join you on this bed? Or even better, if you're brand new, that you could be having sex on a bed and you're just next to another mm -hmm. couple. We talk to people that, it's and it's very common, and we did this actually when we were early on in our, in our swinging journey, is that, for example, the women would be, you'd be lying on the bed and there'd be another woman lying on the bed right next to you and you both are being eaten out and you might be holding hands or, you know, caressing each other or something like that just to kind of get that extra feel without kind of the overlap of other sex happening. Right. And that's very, very common for new couples and they can get into this vibe of seeing how comfortable they are before they actually move forward with playing with someone else. Whether they do or not. Coming in with this concept of we're going to have fun, we're going to talk to everybody, we're going to have a sexy time and we don't know what's going to happen but we're going to kind of roll with it and we're going to make rules and we're going to make our expectations known to each other yeah. and go forward with that. Right. And that's actually what you want to talk about beforehand too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Go ahead. Oh, I was going to say, communication is so important. When you know we say that all the time. But talking to your partner about what your expectations are when you come on board, before you get on board, right? So that you don't have arguments uh, or hurt feelings once you're here or you do something that makes your spouse uncomfortable. Talk about jealousy. What might make you feel jealous? You know, you may not know, but talk about everything. If you were to kiss another person, I might feel this way. If you were to do this, I might feel this way. You know, kind of just discover everything and figure out what your, where your comfort levels lie. You know, whether you want to just stay with that, your partner in the playroom, nobody else touching, you just want to hear the sounds and all that. Cool. Do it that way. But you can also communicate while you're on the boat. 
if you have been here playing for a couple of days with just your spouse and both of you feel like you could move to another step, it's pretty easy to find another couple that can match up with your expectations and your hopes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that's why it's also really nice to be on these cruise ships is because there are so many new people, but there's also many, many experienced mm. couples. And that's really important. We often say, when we when we first got in Lifestyle, we went to a resort that was all new people. It, everybody was brand new. And because of that, no one knew how to take things to the next <laughs> level. It was kind of like, we don't know what we're doing. Let's maybe push the women together and they'll just start making out and then things will happen. Didn't work. Doesn't work. Doesn't, no, no, it didn't work. Didn't work. It's, it's actually very <laughs> difficult. But when a new couple is with a more experienced couple that can kind of guide them and help them move forward, that's hugely advantageous. Uh, we, we actually play with new couples all the time because we're very aware of looking for you know issues signs that might come drama. up. Signs of drama. Not necessarily like, well, of course, red flags. It's like, right. is this going to be a problem couple? Are they going to start fighting or crying or right. whatever when something happens? But it's more along the lines of, the couples that are positive that we're able to see you know if things are starting to go south yeah. or if uh, one of them's starting to feel a little uncomfortable or one of them feels like they were almost pushed into this before they were ready to be yeah. pushed into it and and it uh, it's it's just very nice as a couple that's been doing this a while to be aware of those things and they can really really help a new couple move forward that have way. the best experience or first experience ever exactly you know it's kind of cool though if you do play with a new couple that you are going to be probably remembered maybe not everything about you but you will be remembered and talked about because people will always ask you about your first experience that's true so, that's true hey. <laughs> yeah so if you want your first experience with us and you can be like oh my god we had sex with matt and bianca as yeah. our first experience <laughs> 10 come years ago come find us come find us on one of these cruise ships <laughs> One of the other things we love about these cruises is that you don't have to have a filter. You can talk about everything. You can talk about eating your wife's pussy out. You can talk about... Eating someone else's wife's someone else's pussy, pussy out. Yeah. Um, you know, you can just have those conversations on a cruise, on a vacation, that you can't have on a normal vacation. You go in the elevator, you can have a conversation with someone for those three floors about how great his wife's tits are, or what a cute outfit that is, or whatever. It's just so nice to be able to feel like your true authentic self for even five days and and it, this is a really difficult thing to put into words but anyone in the lifestyle would tell you this is the case is that once you get into this world and you feel comfortable assuming that everything's going well and you you and your spouse or significant other are communicating well that you will find that this whole world is the most welcoming most inclusive most authentic, authentic is a good word for it uh self than than any other group we've ever seen because everybody wants everybody wants to say hello you could you could go into the restaurant and talk to just some random couple they're 50 years older than you and they're going to be the nicest people that you know it has nothing to do with sex at all it has to do with just the fact that you can have just random conversations and be as open as you want to be and mm -hmm. say hey you know uh, let me ask you a question. We were with another couple last night and this thing was awkward. Yeah. What would you do in that situation? And anyone would tell you their opinion in, in, a, in a positive way, yeah. in the sense of next time to get it to work better, you want to make sure that you do this, or this is how we ran into this problem right. and, and fixed it. And, and that in itself is worth its weight in gold, yeah. uh, especially in a situation like these cruise ships where literally everyone on the ship has the same mindset. It doesn't matter if you play. It, it, it just is being around people who all are just thinking, okay, this is who we are. This is who we want to be. This is what we enjoy doing as our hobby and meeting others and playing with others or just playing near others or whatever it might be and you will tend to uh, will grow as a person and grow as a couple and your communication as a couple will mm. will grow by leaps and bounds True. and you will actually find that immediately after you don't want to hang out with vanilla people anymore mm. you'll find them kind of boring or more more than more than that i well boring i guess is part of it more than that you'll find them closed off yeah. And and which is why after we've been doing this for so many years, we have very few vanilla friends because our lifestyle friends, whether we're going to ever have sex with them or not, uh, that that's very secondary. It's more along the lines of just these people 
I can talk to and you can talk to and they can talk to us and just be open and it's the most wonderful feeling and being in a situation like these cruise ships where everybody's on the same page even though they're all moving at different speeds is is the best feeling and you could ask anyone on the ship and they would say the exact same thing yeah you kind of touched upon one of the next things we want to go on, go over and that's getting advice from other swingers mm -hmm. if you're brand new to this you have a whole lot of people that you can ask and you can get different advice from different people you can ask the same question of five different couples and you're probably going to get similar but different answers mm -hmm. so that's really nice especially when you're new whether you're having a problem or you're just having a concern you know have you know talk to you in a couple have you run into this thing how do you deal with these types of feelings how do you what do you do in this situation so you can go to dinner go to lunch wherever sit you know at the pool next to someone and have great conversations and get advice that could work for you yeah and we always say you know you can watch our hundreds of videos that are out there and you can get all these this information but like literally on these cruise ships you could talk to anyone and just blah just all the questions yeah how do i deal with jealousy how do i deal with not getting it up mm -hmm. uh, in bed uh, with a new person i've never used a condom before because mm -hmm. my wife and i've been together since we were teenagers etc 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 and anyone will tell you and it's like you're getting advice from everyone yeah. it's amazing it yeah. is so helpful and that's you know that's a huge reason why these cruise ships are wonderful mm -hmm. wonderful for new people in addition to that, of course, there are events that happen on these ships that are perfect and actually set up for people who are new to the lifestyle. I mean, they, they have lifestyle 101 classes. Yeah. So if you're brand new to this, they have, you know, 11 o'clock in the morning, come on to this big, big room and they'll have, they'll have experts that will come out and just say, hey, this is, this is kind of how this works. Yeah. This is, this is how, how you deal with these types of issues or problems or how you get it to the next level with a how new couple, how to seal the deal, how to find a unicorn if that's what you're looking for, etc, etc. There are just so many of those classes and seminars that are all included with the cruises uh, that you can just go to and yeah. you can learn everything you could possibly ever want about swinging by, by doing that. Yeah. Uh, of course, there's also meet and greets mm -hmm. too. And there's meet and greets for just about everything. Whether it's for people who are brand new, mm -hmm. they've never done anything before, but also people who are under 45 meet and greets and over 45 meet and greets. They have meet and greets for people from Australia. Australia France, yeah. they have BDE. Big dick energy, yeah. yeah so, yeah. so if that if that's what you're looking for, right. that's what you have. Yep. There's a whole whole group for that. <laughs> There's a whole group for that. I'll meet and greet for that. So just, they, they even had meet and greets for you to go get a date for dinner. So you go to a bar mm -hmm. before dinner and have a meet and greet, and then maybe you'll meet someone cool that you want to have dinner with. And that doesn't mean sex. No. They seem interesting to you. You go and just have dinner with them. Absolutely. Just because you go on a dinner date doesn't mean that you're going to end up having sex with someone. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So that's something to definitely keep in mind because we've heard stories of people that got stood up because they, you know, a couple invited them to dinner and they were all going to go to dinner and then the couple called them and said, you know what? This is going too fast at a level like we're not ready for sex. And so they canceled the dinner date. And the other couple was like surprised that they assumed that it was going to go that direction after just having a conversation and then dinner plans. Because so, it was just dinner. And, yeah. and so, you know, and, and the way these, these evenings are laid out usually is it's, it's dinner. And then after dinner, people go back to their cabins and kind of change for the theme of the evening, whatever that might be, which is why I, it's tie-dye night tonight, which is why I got this <laughs> shirt on. Then go out and meet and do all the things go and the dance bars, and all that dance, kind of stuff. So, so, you know, it's not like we have to hang out with you all evening long and then eventually get into the playroom together. Sure. It's not that at all. It's just about being social. And you can do that here no matter what level of comfort that you are in in the lifestyle if you've never done anything before and you want to just be surrounded by sexually charged people and be in an atmosphere of being out and open and maybe moving forward with another couple or another person or a, or a bisexual woman or whatever your goals are all those things can be found on these lifestyle cruises yeah. because there are just so many people and everybody kind of has the same mindset of what they're looking for and and you can just you can find it here so you know these cruises are great we love them we've been on many of them we will continue to be on many of them and and we're just so excited that so many new couples 
are seeing our videos about these right. cruises, you know, we do have a few of them, and just kind of learning about it and saying, wow, that's something that I want to go to. I, I And I don't want to do it at home. I don't want to do it the slow route. I want to kind of jump into the deep end and, and just kind of be surrounded by it, and we can take it as slowly or as quickly as we feel in the moment. Right. And, and so we, you know, we really hope that this is kind of one of those things where you're like, yeah, yeah, honey, let's, let's do it. Let's go on one of these cruises. And then you will notice that in the link below, uh, right below this video, there is actually a link that you can book one of these cruises uh, and we'll be on these boats. So, you know, if, if you happen to see us on these ships, then, you know, that you come over and say hi. And you can, of course, you know, you can set us down at any table and say, hey, this is this is what our personal journey is. What do you guys think? What yeah. can we do to make it a little easier, harder? Well, not harder. Make it a little <laughs> well, easier. Yeah, well, harder. Uh, yeah. Make it a little easier. What can we do to, you know, move things forward in whatever direction that we want to go? So now we have a question for the people that are not new to the lifestyle. Do you agree with us or do you disagree? Do you think that, that these cruises are great for new people or is it something that they should stay away from? Please make sure that you comment below. And for the people that are brand new to the lifestyle, what do you think? Do you want to go on one of these cruises? Is this something that you'd think would be a fun, fun time that you could have with your spouse and get into this world? Please make sure you comment below. And don't forget to subscribe and click the like button. So, so please do check out uh, the links below and you know, and join us on one of these cruise ships. Yeah. They always sell out because they are so much fun. They're the most fun you'll ever have. Once you go on one of these cruise ships, you'll never want to go on a vanilla cruise ever again and you'll want to just book every single one That's over right. and over and again and, and and they happen a few times a year so so get your deposit in as soon as possible right right all right well is there anything else you want to say i think that's it all right well it. thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time see you on the next cruise